What's up, I'm Tyler Casey, and today I'm gonna to be going over how to get more cinematic images by using a light bounce. I have Julianne right here, she's gonna be helping me out, and I'm gonna be bouncing light onto her. So today I have two light bounces. This one is a foldable light bounce, and it comes with gold, white, and silver, and black on the inside. You just reverse it. I have another one that I built out of garage insulation, and that one's silver and white only, but it's a lot bigger. So yeah, let's get into some of these. The first type of light bounce you can do is basically just use the white side. You just wanna fill in the shadows on the opposite side of the face. So if you have the light coming in from one side, you wanna bounce the white light from the other side. If you have the round bounce, this has to be more of a medium shot. But if you have a bigger bounce, such as like a big oval or the big cardboard piece, you can pretty much get a full body shot. So this helps fill in the shadows and it creates a lot softer light on the opposite side of the face. In contrast, you could use the silver side, which creates harder shadows, but it bounces the light a lot further. This is a lot brighter as well. So this is great for music videos. Maybe if it's like a pop music video and you really want the artist to pop, or maybe like an aggressive rap video. I have some examples of that as well. Another thing you can do is you can use the silver side at sunset when the sun's low and you have the light hit the back of the person and then use it to fill in their face. Most of the time when you shoot straight in the sun, your talent's gonna be a complete silhouette, but using a bounce can help fill in those shadows so you can see the talent's face. Then as a bonus, you can use the gold side. This kind of gives a nice warm highlight if you want something a little bit warmer. This maybe has like a summertime feel if you're looking for something like that. So definitely next time you're on set, make sure you bring someone else along to hold your balance, especially on windy days, you're gonna need someone to hold it. And that's another thing about the silver side. You're gonna see the bounce wiggle a little bit and that doesn't look very good. But at least with the white side, you're not really gonna see the light wiggle so much. So definitely make sure it's not too windy of a day to bounce. So that's pretty much it for today. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to like and comment below if you guys have any more questions. I'm Tyler Casey and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. To end this tutorial, Julie's gonna teach you how to fold up your light bounce. Hold up. <laughs> I'll hold my mic out, one sec, there you go. So, two hands, twist, twist, and hug. All right, and that's how you, <laughs> and that's how you fold a light bounce. I'll have to cut that up. Yeah, no. That's good. I'm keeping that. <laughs>